To first-timers, the diamond appraisal process could seem convoluted or overbearingly complex. As always, we at Diamond Cycle seek to bring clarity to your options and to the various processes of the diamond world. With that in mind, welcome to a quick tutorial regarding diamond and jewelry appraisals. As you may know, a diamond appraisal is a process by which a gemologist or jeweler appraiser assigns a monetary value to a diamond or piece of jewelry. As there are over 27 different types of appraisals based on purposes, it is always good to know why and what you're looking to accomplish. Clients get diamond appraised for a variety of reasons, including inheritance, taxes, division of estates between heirs, appraisal for jewelry insurance or updates to an insurance policy, or an outdated jewelry appraisal. That said, if you own a piece of jewelry or are aiming to sell a piece, it is always incredibly useful to know how much that item is worth. Once you know why you're getting a diamond appraised, it's always helpful to understand the appraisal process and what steps include. The first step is cleaning the diamond to ensure the appraiser has a clear and full view of the stone. After that, the diamond's condition is reviewed for damage and its authenticity is tested to ensure that it is a real versus a synthetic diamond. After the condition inspection, the appraiser ascertains the four C's. As a quick reminder, the four C's of diamond grading and appraisal are carat, which is the size of the diamond, as determined by weight, and for a reference point, one carat equals 0.2 grams. The next C is color, and while at first glance most diamonds are clear, diamonds are actually often have slight brown or yellow tinge to them. The color grade is determined on a scale from D, void of color, to Z, having a yellow tint. Or tone. After that is cut, which is the actual way that the diamond is cut, which is determined by the proportions and the angles of each facet. Some standard cuts are point cut, table cut, old single cut, perusi cut, marazine cut, and old European cut. The last C is clarity, which is the prevalence of flaws, inclusions, internal flaws, blemishes, scratches, or clouds that might occur on the interior or exterior of the stone. Compared to a chip diamond, a diamond that is flawless is rare and incredibly valuable. The last step in the appraisal process is a diamond grader will write a report with their findings and assign a market value to your diamond. Now that you know what to expect in the appraisal process, you'll want to find an appraiser. While jewelry stores, independent appraisers, GIA appraisers, and other professionals might all offer an appraisal, it's important to consider the expert you're asking to appraise your diamond. We highly recommend hiring a trained gemologist with GIA credentials who is well versed in the qualities that make a piece unique, along with the extensive knowledge knowledge of the second-hand market. As you hire your appraiser, we encourage you to check that appraiser is certified, that your process matches the purpose of the appraisal, that you will finish the appraisal with a definitive statement of value, with a statement of appraisal purpose on the certificate, and that you have a strong rapport with your appraiser. Never be afraid to ask for your specialist credentials or expertise. You want to make sure that your diamond is in expert hands. Beyond that, make sure you engage them in conversation about the process before you proceed. Always remember there's no shame in asking your appraiser questions as for clarification. You're about to hire them and there's no problem interviewing them for the job. Appraisals should cost roughly $50 to $150 an hour based on the complexity of the work, the geographic area, and the training and expertise of the appraiser. Given the uniqueness of each diamond piece, if possible it is important to hire an expert who is knowledgeable in the quality of your stone, whether it's an old European diamond, or an antique diamond or a colored diamond. We strongly recommend avoiding low rates of service or percentages of value services for the integrity of the appraisal itself. Lastly, you may be wondering what are the differences in between an appraisal and a diamond grading report? As mentioned, a diamond appraisal will vary based on its specific purpose a diamond grading result is a universally accepted certificate or report that insurance companies, diamond merchants, and other professionals in the business can use to determine the value of your diamond. The grading report is conducted by a trained gemologist 
and raise your diamonds on the four C's, color, cut, clarity, and carrot of the diamonds. Please note that the grading of the diamond on the four C's can be incredibly subjective, and we urge you, as always, to exercise the utmost caution when you're having your diamond graded or appraised, and we strongly recommend using GIA. Likewise, we encourage you to never purchase a diamond without a GIA report or a certificate, as having a report will make selling your diamond or discussing its value far easier in the future. And that's it. You're now educated and equipped to enter the process of the diamond appraisals. As always, we at Diamond Cycle are here for you. Feel free to contact us with any other questions you might have about diamonds or our process. We're always proud to be your neighborhood jeweler.